Heard your call on the radio. Where should I start? Take your pick. They've been putting cars in every empty space. The captain, yes, he's got another camera. Tell him to start two rows up from O'Halloran. Hey, guys, I got something. What do we got? Just got a blue plume coming from one of these cars. Wheel well of that grand pallet. He's in there. Get her out. She's barely breathing. We need oxygen. The EMS is stuck in traffic. Well, we'll take her. So, Detectives Benson and Stabler, what can I do for you? We'll hear about your rental car. The one I returned yesterday? It's not what the rental agency says. Have we met before? Doubt it. I'm here every few months on business, but I live in Louisiana. No. Oh, near New Orleans? Other side of Lake Ponce Train, mm -hmm. North Shore. Looks like bacteria. It's pollen. I found microscopic traces on the driver's seat and on Sabrina's clothing. All that proves is Sabrina was in the car. No, the sample was so minute, it could only have been transferred through extremely close contact. Like sitting on the seat? Yeah, or during the rape. What difference does it make? Any of the last 10 people who rented the car could have left the pollen. Only if they'd been down south recently. Pollen's from a Louisiana flats edge. Louisiana flats edge? That grow anywhere near Lake Pontchartrain? Around the bayous in the North Shore. How'd you know? Claire! You're telling me his laptop and artwork are gone. So is a suitcase. All right, Picard's alibi checked out. What'd we miss? We missed something. He returned the Impala. He walks out of the rental office. He saw the keys in the car. He stole the car right back. Oh, we screwed up. He told me I was in danger. He said Mom was waiting for me outside. Then he went out through the coffee place. Explains why he wasn't on the surveillance video. What happened then? My mom wasn't outside, but he was. He said Mom was hurt, and if I told him where I lived, he'd take me home. OK, so you got into his car. But he drove the wrong way. I tried to get out, but the doors were locked. Did you ask him where you were going? He said someplace safe. He was talking funny. Okay, what else did he say? He said, hearken to the ark. Hearken to the ark. Yeah, mostly I didn't understand him. Sabrina, I'm going to show you some pictures. And I want you to take a really, really good look, OK? That's him. He said his name was William. OK, tell me we got the car. I wish. The girl's been kidnapped. You know this girl? Yeah, uh, right over there, picking out a few books. Were those books there? Well, could be. Uh, she was sitting in that chair. Quentin's Quest by William S. Falstaff. I read this to my kids. You and a million other parents. Surveillance caught Picard on tape, escorting Eve Holland out 45 minutes ago. Son of a bitch. What? I knew I recognized him. That's Saul Picard. He rapes kids and writes books for them. William S. Falstaff. That's a hell of a pen name. OK, where is he bringing it to? What do you say to Sabrina? Hearkening the Ark. Hearken to the Ark. Hearken to the Ark. Secret of the Arch? Maybe he took her here. The Ark to Triumph in Paris? There's one exactly like this in Washington Square Park. There's nowhere to hide in Washington Square. Maybe Brooklyn, Prospect Park? The Arch at Grand Army Plaza. Don't move. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Shut up. Shut up and put your hands on the car over there. Eve. Hands up. Eve. Eve, honey, can you hear me? My name is Olivia. I'm a police officer. Can you sit up for me? Are you okay? I'm tired. Okay. Manhattan SVU to detail. We have one in custody. We'll meet you back at our car. Okay, sweetie. Come with me. Good job. Would you give that girl to make her go to sleep? Alice swallowed one of the cakes, and she was delighted to find that she began shrinking directly. 
You give Sabrina Farmer one of those kicks before you raped her and left her in that car? I had a car. It, it got a tow. The guy who towed its name was Joe. You're under arrest like for the rape and kidnapping of Sabrina Farmer and the kidnapping of Eve Hall. My attorney is Lucien Devereaux of New Orleans. Remain silent. He's an expert on prowling. Yeah, did you hear the president's speech last week? Man, that guy will do anything to keep us fighting this Iraq war. Oh, <laughs> nefarious war. I see why arms were seldom used. Oh, OK. Okay, what? Do I have to do it now? Because it's going to be really hard. <laughs> I got to get away. You know, better go anywhere than play. Gotta get away. Oh, oh. Welcome back, Al. What's going on? You're in the hospital. You're okay. I'm not okay. Where are you? What do you mean? I'm standing right next to you. Oh, God. I can't see you. I can't see anything. It's all a blur. I can't see anything. Kathy? Right here, Elliot. Right here. He's not a pedophile. He's a schizophrenic. He kidnapped those girls because he thinks they're his sister Francine. But will he ever realize that he's the one that beat and raped Sabrina and Tiffany? It's possible, but it's also possible that he won't remember. Right, so we have to wait for his respiridone to kick in. If it kicks in? What do you mean, if? Hal Dahl helped him with his schizophrenia for years until his sister died. It's possible that any medication we give him won't work in times of great stress. Are you saying he might not make it through a trial? Are you actually considering putting him through one? Yeah, after what he did to Sabrina Farmer. You heard what he said. He believes that his hallucinations are real. He thinks that he saved her. He, he belongs in a hospital. I'll take that under advisement. Casey, the man is sick. Putting him in prison is no less cruel and unusual punishment than the feds trying to have him executed. Why are you here? I heard you tried to hurt yourself. I'm not crazy. I'm on my medication. It's good. I want to die. You should have let them execute me. I'd rather be dead than live with what I've done. You see, every day, I get a little better. And the better I get, the worse I feel about what I did to those girls. Maybe one day you can forgive yourself when you realize it wasn't your fault. Wasn't it?